Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw him wear these. You know how European jeans look different? They have like embroidery on it in the back. You know they have like yeah oh oh on the pockets on oh, the pockets like, and like stuff. Sage Northcutt's dad right right oh. now, those yeah. kind of those kind of the, pants imbro- yeah but the Ned not only had that but on the his dazzled. jeans was I guess they're embroidered of Disney characters <laughs> like in a clump like it was Mickey Mouse Minnie Mouse on the back no in the front oh like probably coming down you got a patch? You know, that's never looked good by the way don't fuck with blue jeans oh. don't put shit on it right <laughs> oh. but he had that and I remember not being brave enough and having the kind of relationship where I can go to him and go, don't ever wear those again. <laughs> <laughs> right? You just, because yeah. he's the headliner, so you just accept it. But wait a minute, patches did work on jeans in the in the 70s and late 60s and early 70s. <laughs> oh my God. The right patches work or iron-ons, whatever. No, patches, because those are sewn on. It never worked. It never worked! I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. He has a thing with I mean, patches. you know what I found when I first moved in here? What? An affliction shirt from you. You, you had an affliction shirt? Uh-huh. What? And a, Von, a couple of Von Dutch. What? So you're not one to speak, sir, about patches on jeans. Thank you. You're right. All right, let's get back <laughs> to Chipotle. <laughs> We're going to get back to Chipotle. Can we go back to Funny is Funny, or do you ever not want to go back to that? Oh, let's wait. Let's finish that story. We About the guy that you're working with yeah. that who, who met a Carlos at a Chipotle. Yeah. Right, there we go. And then we'll go back. All right, 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 right. So he said he went up to him and was like, hey, dude, I just want to tell you, uh, you know, I've always, I have always enjoyed you all those, whatever. And and he just got real defensive. He was like, yeah, okay, yeah, whatever. Do you want me to say I stole? I stole? Is that what you want me to? Oh, and he just got on the defensive. Oh, and the guy wow, was like, wow. no, man, I'm being like, no, dude. And he's like, dude, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's also, like you said, it's, Maybe it's gotten to him all these years later. Mm. I don't know. I mean, but in a weird way, I never got too associated with him. So I've I've always sort of been on the outside. You always had a thing though, like you're just to be safe. Yeah, I just I thing. felt like I I knew which I had just this instinct that I think I got from my dad, mm. where sometimes even with other comics, not just him, I could have made some money, but I was like. Ugh trust this dude man mm. uh, or it's gonna be bad that. it's yeah. gonna be bad mm. something's gonna something's gonna turn out man or we're gonna get into it or something so well it's a it's also a power shift you have to when you open and, and up- hence why i was the hottest guy in 99 and then not now in 2019 because sometimes those decisions when you when you take make decisions where someone could get you in front of mass audiences and you don't that could be that could be a, a breaker right there like wow, those could have been wow, breakers. that's a real interesting thing that you just said because um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Is it because you do have a pride about you, mm-hmm. and that can be that could be a problem. Shit, it's right. Yeah. Oh, gross. Can I answer it. Can I answer it? <laughs> yeah. Look, now you're on the podcast. So though. gross. Yeah, which, oh. Hello, Bobby Lee. Who is this? Whoa, Glickman, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm doing a podcast right now with Johnny Sanchez. Hey, tell Johnny Sanchez I love him. Um, I'm right here, brother. Love you too, dude. Johnny Sanchez! Yeah, Glickman! I an invite for you for Monday. Do you want me to send you a text? What, what's going on Monday? Floyd Mayweather is, is playing basketball, and... Uh, and I got invited to this thing, and they said, hey, yeah, you know any other great comedians that want to come and hang out? And, uh, and watch this, Floyd uh, Mayweather play basketball? <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. Are, are you fucking really mind? You think I want to do that on a fucking Monday, Glickman? <laughs> <laughs> you think I want to do that on a fucking Monday, Glickman? <laughs> who's he playing against? Who's, he, wait, who's Mayweather play against? <laughs> it's got to be like Bad Will- Brad Williams and some of his buddies. <laughs> Brad Williams. <laughs> Who's 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 he fighting or playing against? <laughs> who's he fighting? He's playing basketball against Gronk. Oh, Patriots! What's, what's a Gronk? Oh, football player. Yeah. Oh, well, then I'm going to be there for sure. You should have said Gronk up front. <laughs> I love you. No, thank you. Can you send me the invite. I'll think about it. So it's a novelty. I, will. All right, I love you. Let me know. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Wow. Floyd Mayweather against Manny Pacquiao in basketball would get crushed. Manny Pacquiao's... F- he would destroy him. Yeah. 
Pacquiao Why? Is a baller. Pacquiao is a really good player. Is he really? Baller, in really? basketball? Yeah. He bought wow. his own basketball team and he plays on his own team. Yeah. Oh, I would mind. See, I would watch that. It would, I bet that would be better than the fight. I bet it was. Oh, the fight sure. was horrible. Yeah. Oh, but we were here. We had a party. It was crazy. Okay. It was terrible. 